What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're gonna be having a pretty interesting topic that a couple of you guys have been asking, and that is what to look for when you are buying a used 8th Gen SI. Now there are a couple things that you gotta look out for, and I do have a good amount of list. A lot of these I've talked about within the channel's history, and a lot of them, obviously you guys are just gonna know from the forums and everything else, and from personal experience. So, number one, and this is gonna be the biggest issue that we've always had, and I'm I'm always gonna talk about it is the third gear grind when you guys are looking for an eighth gen that's probably gonna be the first thing you want to look for look and ask the seller if they've had any bad synchros if they've swapped out the transmission fluid and also you can check this out down here I don't want to touch right there you guys see that clip right there it's like trying to get a good there it is. Those two clips, those two clips, those are my cable bushings. And those are my aftermarket ones. When you are looking for that third gear grind, you can look for the cable bushings. You can look for base bushings, which are on the shifter mount. And you could also ask about the, the CMC, the clutch master cylinder. Ask if they swapped it out. Ask if they adjusted it. Ask if they still have grinding. And to, to know if you have the third gear grind on the car, when you are test driving it, see if you can redline it from first to second and then from second to third if you don't have any grinds or any pops you shouldn't have the third gear grind if you do that's where the main issue comes from and the reason why i'm mentioning the cable bushings the base bushings the sil the synchros and all that that's what a lot of eighth gen uh users like myself always look into before we try swapping out the clutch master cylinder or trying to look into the synchros because if you can avoid getting new synchros or swapping out the clutch master cylinder by doing all this instead you should be fine that's what i did i pretty much did everything except for the synchros and the clutch master cylinder which eventually maybe down the line i probably would get a new cmc but for now the car is good and i don't have any more grinds number two when you guys are looking into buying a used eighth gen depending on where you want to buy it ask the right questions so for example if you're going to buy it used at a dealership ask if it comes with a warranty because if you drive it off the lot and you find something wrong with it the next day or the next week you'll be able to get it fixed when you buy it from a private seller yes it is going to be a lot more cheaper but you are never really going to know what has really been done to the car for example this is a civic si I guarantee you majority of the SIs out there of any generation has been modified. And if you're trying to get a low mileage SI and trying to find one stock, good luck. Like I know there's a good amount out there, but majority of them have already been heavily modified, if not modified the wrong way. And then in the long run, you're gonna end up you're gonna end up with the short end of the stick, which you're gonna have to pay more money into it. So depending on your situation, if you're trying to make payments on it or if you're trying to buy it full cash. Go to the dealership and try to and offer them full cash. Maybe they might do it because a lot of them will say, let's say if they're selling for 10 G's, you'll be able to get it for 75, maybe even eight if you just show them that you have cash up front instead of doing payments. That way you pay a lot less. Because obviously with dealers, they're gonna be marking it up. But the fact the majority of them come with warranty is a huge plus. Number three, when you're looking into buying a used eighth gen, there are two versions of it. Know which one you want. There's a 2006 to the 2008, which I'll put a picture of it right here. And then there's a 2009 through 2011, and there's a picture of it right here. Both the FG2 Coupe and the FA5 sedan, they're a little different from the exterior and slightly different mechanically. The 8th gen version one, the 2006 to 2008, that's what I have. When you guys look around it, it's gonna have a more sleek look. It's gonna be more modern versus the 2009 to 2011. It's gonna look more retro. It, ha it came with a facelift, and I believe on those ones, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe on the 2009 and 2011, they don't have the third gear grind issue, or at least I don't think they do. Uh, I looked around on the forums and I asked a lot of people around. I even did a lot of research and a lot of the third gear grind came from the version one eighth gen. When they did the facelift, they pretty much fixed a lot of the mechanical issues that came with the car. The reason why I'm also mentioning version one through version two is that those are two different price ranges. Version one, it is a lot cheaper. I personally like the looks of it a lot better, but version two, it's gonna be slightly more expensive, but a lot of the mechanical issues are gonna be fixed from version two, comparing it to version one. Another issue you guys gotta look into when looking into the eighth gen is the paint. A lot of the clear coat was really bad. So just like my history with my car, 
my clear coat started fading away and I started and the paint started chipping off in the front thus me plastic dipping the roof I only plastic dipped it because it was the cheaper route I could wrap it but I'm eventually gonna get a touch-up paint job so I'm not gonna waste doing spending the extra money when I'm gonna have to spend more money to get it done the right way a lot of the issues that the eighth gen has is you'll start getting chipped paint right here right here but mainly right here on the hood I got lucky and I don't have any uh, bad clear coating done on the hood it was mainly on the roof so as you can see I plastic dipped it just to cover it up so when I'm ready to paint it I'm just gonna peel it off not a big deal for me but it's gonna be a big deal for a lot of people out there and that's just something that I want to let you guys know on that mainly happened to the version one I believe on the version two of the eighth gen when they got the facelift they fixed it so the clear coat got fixed the third year grind got fixed from the looks of it as of right now if you're looking into buying an eighth gen i recommend trying to get it 2009 2011. another thing you guys need to look out for when buying a used eighth gen is see if it's been modified lightly modified or heavily modified it's still modified so something as simple as a short ram intake or an exhaust and coils to something more aggressive towards a big turbo k or supercharge on the car it's still a modification done to the car that way if you get one that is completely stock you can have an educated guess on how much more reliable the engine's going to be another thing that you need to look out for when buying an eighth gen is simple thing make sure vtec hits at 6000 rpms vtec on our k20 stock is from 6000 rpms to 8000 rpms if it kicks in later or sooner something's wrong with the car or it's been modified from flash pro with flash pro you can adjust the the vtec window on the car so do yourself a favor and make sure when you are test driving it if you can punch it a little bit and make sure that vtec hits at 6000 rpms another thing to look out for when buying a used eighth gen is when you're driving it around and doing a test drive whatever you want to do whatever you want to call it drive it slow drive it normal and drive it fast pretty basic things when looking into any used car that way you can hear if there's any unnecessary rattling or something doesn't feel right with the car you always want to make sure that you drive it slow normal and fast another thing to look out for when you guys are buying a used eighth gen turn on all the lights make sure that check check engine light turns on the reason why you want to make sure that check engine light turns on is because with Honda with this car you can disable the check engine light and if that check engine light doesn't turn on when you turn the car on and then goes back off just like any other car something's been done to the car that they don't want you to see and that's what and again that's with any used car out there when you guys are trying to buy a used car make sure all the lights turn on and point them out so if you don't see that check engine light turn on as you turn the car on something's wrong they're trying to hide something from you Another thing to look out for when buying an 8th gen is, I don't know how much of a common issue this was to the other SIs, but when I bought the car, because I got it used from a dealership, when I bought the car used, the, within the first week there's been a couple issues, you guys want to make sure that the top hats are good. One way to make sure that the top hats are good from your suspension is when you are on, in the car, turn the steering wheel left and turn the steering wheel right and just keep moving it side to side that's how you'll know with my car every time I did that you would hear a click 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 and it was getting annoying to where I took it in with a warranty and they said hey we checked that out actually you actually have bad top hats we're gonna fix it for you for free so I don't know how much of a common issue that is but I had that issue with my car that I've already gotten it fixed the first week that I've had it so make sure you guys have good top hats because you don't want that to go bad especially while you're driving Another thing to look out for when buying a uh, 8th gen SI, especially from the version 1, is we had really bad clips on the car. So when you guys are looking into the car, if this comes out easily, there's already a bad clip in it. Mine already broke right there. Always make sure you're not missing any clips on any of the bumpers, especially because in here in the wheel well, a lot of these clips end up missing. Another tip to know if your car has been modified or I guess you can say lowered is Look around and look in the wheel well and see if the fenders have been rolled. And the way that you can tell is right now it's flat and my tires are not rubbing because I'm not that low, but right now it's flat. If this is pulled out just slightly, 
So look out for rolled fenders because that is a common thing a lot of eighth gen users like to do to their car. A lot of car, a lot of eighth gen users like to slam their car. I'm saying a lot, not most, a lot. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. These are just a couple things that you should look out for when looking into buying a Honda Civic model, specifically the eighth gens, because a lot of these are common issues that the eighth gen owner has had issues with. I hope this video was pretty informative to you. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. I'm sure I've, I've left out a couple uh, issues and that's what the comment section is here for. Help each other out and point out some things that I forgot to mention and point out some things that that's happened to you that isn't really a common issue. That way the next person that's looking into buying an eighth gen knows what to look out for. But anyways, guys, thank you all for watching this, this video. I hope this was informative to you. Please hit that like button. It really does help me out. And hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. I do have a Honda Civic SI 2008 FG2. And you guys are more than welcome to follow me with my build. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a good day. Stay classy. Peace. girls were there. Oh, those are girls? Yeah, I think so. I, yeah. I thought the passenger was like a guy with long hair. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, in, the, in the green Honda? Yeah. No, they're like, oh, look, it's Steve again. Oh. <laughs> All wet. So, the reason why I'm also mentioning the, uh, the version 1 and the version 2 uh, from the 2008 to 2011. Fuck. 